How's it going everybody? My name is HBZW. Yes, I literally got this the attempt right after I stopped recording. So we finally got the giant quiver. And yeah. Pfft, don't come again. Will do. Not. Um, anyways. So in this episode, I think what we are going to do. Well, first, we're going to go get the hidden skill, which is up over here. So you can see that we are now holding a hundred arrows, which is crazy. That's just crazy talk. Anyways, what I'm kind of thinking is, um, since I already had Zombie Gamer in the, um, in one of these episodes, I'm thinking of having the Beijing Tybron in one of these episodes at some point. But the problem is school is starting and I don't want and I don't want to have favoritism. So I want to have him in one of these episodes because yeah. Anyways, this is the final golden wolf that you will find in this game. And there is a lot of sunlight coming into my room and it's blinding me. <laughs> Fix the camera. Yes. Okay. Jump strike. He doesn't actually spawn three people, so you don't have to worry about that. The great spin. So, we have the normal spin attack, but if we are at full health, we cannot shoot beams, but we can do a better spin attack. So he's going to spawn three guys. Hold B. In, like, I think it doubles the range on it. So if you are at full health, then you can easily kill anything. Fixed camera. Camera is still not fixed. Okay, let's get out of here. Hey, we can warp. That's funny. So we can see Hyrule Castle is actually a area on the map. You can see that it actually highlights. Which is kind of cool. Um, we could go over pieces of heart. You know what? Screw it. Let's just do it. I want to try to finish e this Let's Play either today or tomorrow. Or the next day, either way. Works for me. I have my school presentation, orientation, sorry, tomorrow. So, I have to wake up at like 7.30 in the morning. Probably like at 6, anyways. So, let's see what happens. What a plot twist this is. Midna is the Twilight Princess. 
So this is the Legend of Zelda Midna. That's cool. <laughs> Let's just call this the Legend of Midna now. I'm going to skip this cutscene because it kind of spoils a little bit that I want to explain. It's kind of half the reason I want to skip some of these cutscenes because it 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 makes it a little bit too like guess worthy. Like you can literally just be like, "Oh, I understand that." Like, I mean, like I had to play Black Ops One a couple of times to understand the storyline, and then I played the second game. And it all came back together, and yeah, it's just kind of one of those things. So this is the Palace of Twilight. No, Twilight. I thought it, I thought it's Twilight. Anyways, Anyways, we need to keep Minna in our shadow. Also, these guys. So, if you actually hit one of these guys, listen, it's funny. Listen to this noise. Oh, what does it sound like? It sounds like Groose from Skyward Sword. Okay. Anyways, the only way we can go is this way. Also, I recommend you use the Master Sword here, although you probably would use it anyways. Jesus, this guy is tall. Looks like an Enderman. Anyways, let's go. Now I will tell you one thing, it is very hard to see in some of the in this dungeon. So I'm gonna try my best to keep the brightness up, like I just fixed right now. So this is a Zant head. Whoops. Ow. Come on, I already can't show off my new attack. Anyways, you can just attack it normally. He will teleport around and shoot shadow balls at you, which is kind of weird. I mean, it's, it's a cool kind of thing, but it's kind of weird, though. Anyways, we get a key from killing him. So, now, these are actually claw shot panels. Like, kind of, like, red orbs. Anyways. Okay, let me just, just zoom out the camera and show you this spin attack. Ready? Look at that, it's like double ranged. Alright, spider doors even here. I think you can open these doors as wolf link too, if you really need to. So if we go into this, into this, yeah. So, we cannot turn back into a human while we're in this, but if we, you do turn on your senses, it turns pink and you can easily see through it. So, I mean, you can't see Link, and then you turn on your senses, you can. You cannot turn back into human while you're in it, so, oh my god. Why don't you just zoom out the camera and make both of them appear at once? Oh. Ow. Okay, well, this is gonna be the dungeon map. Dee -dee -dee -dee. Oh, wait, that was a compass? What? That's crazy tough. Anyways, um. Let's see. Uh, there's a claw shop panel over here, isn't there? There is one somewhere. Oh, it's on the other side. Oh, there's a chest right here. 
Why did we get the compass first? I don't know why we got the compass first, but okay. We need to get up right here. Put our double claw shot to use, and I don't think that's a place where you need to go. Um, I bet I could reach it with this, maybe. Yep, we can. Which makes no sense. Okay. I don't know how there's how there are twilight plants growing here. But I mean, hey, don't question it. Don't question it, just roll with it. And we got an orange rupee from that, that's alright. I always appreciate the money. Where do we go from here? Okay, let's see. You know how I said this is probably the the Sky Temple is probably the one that I least know? Well, this one has less rooms, in which being less confusing. Damn, was I wrong. Um, I don't know where to go from here. Um, let's call shot back over here really quick. Let's take a look at the room. Is there a claw shot panel over there on the owl? Get up. No, there is none on the ceiling. Um, we need to get up on top of that platform. There's no claw shot panel for me to latch on to. So I obviously must be doing something wrong. Let's claw shot up to this. Might be a button or something in here. Let's look. I have a key, so I must be able to do something. It's not that pot. There's no claw shot panel. What do I do? Um, let's go back through here. You see... Damn, I was wrong. I don't know what to do. As I see all the comments rolling in of... Hey, you have to do this! Get the claws off and all that other crap. And I'm gonna be sitting here like... Beastware. Yeah, I don't see anything I can do. I see that entire platform up there, and I need to get to it so I can jump down right here. I cannot jump that because if I was, I would have been all the way over there already. Um, I almost want to cut until we find it. Um. Um... Maybe it has something to do with this. Maybe I have to go up here or something. Um... I don't see anything. I mean, why would that claw shot panel be there, but not one on the other side corresponding? I don't know what to do! What the hell do I do? I don't have my guidebook anymore, so I can't look it up. Um, I got that chest right there. Um, 
Okay, I'm just gonna cut until I figure this out. Yep, as I say every episode. It's okay, guys, I'm just stupid. I was looking at the wrong door. I'm sorry I wasted your time. Oh my god, I'm stupid. I need to look at the map. Because I was supposed to go this way. I was trying to go through that door. Ugh, I'm stupid. Alright, well, <laughs> I figured it out. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Oh my god. Okay, well... Looks like we got a room. Looks like we have a hand and a ball. Get your hands off my ball. That's my ball. I want it. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Oh. Every time there's a cutscene, there has to be something that happens. Oh, good. Shadow Beast. Are we gonna get a teleport now? This is Shadow Zant. Or Phantom Zant. Which I think we have time to, to fight right now. I think he is the mini-boss of this temple. So what he is going to do is he's going to spawn a lot of monsters on you. Now, once he gets the ball, you want to run over to him and just attack him. Okay, a bunch of these guys. Where is he? Over here, no? I'm gonna kill one of them. So maybe he'll... Oh, those those guys are actually separates. Here, take that. Actually, kind of. Whoa! That's a lot of enemies. I don't think they're able to drop anything. I don't think they do. Kill you. Get out of here. I'm kind of wondering if we can shoot him with an arrow. That time I missed. No, but it makes him teleport away. They're all dead. I just need a way for him to throw another ball. The ball is life. There we go. Y'all dead now. And oh god, he came everywhere. Oh god. Oh god. Um. Let's just have him have his privacy. Um. Anyways. I think I'm going to end it off here, so thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. It's called a Saul, which, if you didn't know, Saul means, well, Sol, means, means sun in Spanish, which is kind of cool. And it actually is referencing it, too. Anyways... In the next episode, we will try to do something with this sun. I'll see you guys then. Bye.